I am bringing an unseen version of Jess to you today. My hair looked disgusting so I put it up and I don't know where my hair up so be nice. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. Doing a haul! We're doing a haul! We're doing it from a different location, we're doing it with a different hairstyle than usual. We're switching things up very temporarily for one video and one video only. Don't this is not a permanent change. Anyway, I did a little order of the I Saw It First X Emily Lucy Ratch collection. Um, I have followed Emily on Instagram for ages and I absolutely love her style and all of her content is amazing. So when she did her little collection, I only seemed right to order some bits to try it on. Now I want to say that Emily is like a size 12 to 14 maybe? Let me, let me backtrack that. She's a 12 to 14, that's what Instagram says. Um, so I thought it'd be pretty good. I'm a 16, maybe 16 to 18 at the minute. I'm kind of a bit in between sizes. So I just thought it would be good to basically show off some of the bits from her collection in a slightly different size on a slightly different looking body. Um, and I've got to say, there is, there's a few bits in there that I do really like, but there is one gem. And I think I'm gonna say the best for last because oh my goodness what a dress it is. Stunning. Right, anyway, I'm gonna try and do this in some sort of methodical order. I don't know, I don't do anything methodically, so I don't even know why I've said that. But I'm gonna start with this little bit. This is a little wrap top body suit. It's in like a lemon colour um, with like a really tiny, it's like a pink and purple floral print. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I really love the way this looks on. I got it in a size 16 but I will say I kind of wish I did get it in an 18. I am 5'10 and I've got quite a long torso so it was just a tiny little bit too kind of small for me. It was great around the boobs and everything but I think had I sized up to the 18 I just would have had a little bit more material to get the bodysuit on comfortably and then like tuck it into jeans and um, because I found that the little kind of the white bit at the bottom was rising out of my jeans ever so slightly. But like I said, I am kind of in between these sizes. I've got a very long torso, so bodysuits for me are just generally difficult. But I just think this is so stunning. I love the way it's like the perfect jeans and a nice top top. I think I am actually going to return it and order the size up just to try that out because I do love it so much. It's just so it's like such a nice thick material as well. It's so well made. I am very impressed. Probably a good time to say this is the first time I've ever ordered from I Saw It First as well. So <laughs> I had no idea what to expect in terms of like the sizing and the quality and stuff like this. But this, as a first piece to try on, was very good and I am impressed. The next thing I ordered was this little dress. It is a kind of blue rose pattern. It has got a tiny little bit of ruching at the front and then it's got a shirt back so it's nice and stretchy and fits really really well. It has also got a little tie belt around the waist so you can cinch that waist in and then it's really nice and like ruffly and floaty at the bottom. I got this one in a size 18 and I actually think I could have sized down in it. It was actually quite generous. For me though again I've already said that I'm 5 foot 10 so it was very on the short side for me but if you are like an average height it would literally be perfect the pattern is gorgeous i love how floaty the bottom is i think it's just such a flattering cut style everything about it i love literally the only the only bad thing i have to say about it is just that it's too short for me but that is a tall girl problem that i have no matter where i shop okay the next little bit that i tried okay, black products never show up very well on this and you'll see on the drawing clip anyway but it's like a shirt dress that kind of almost looks like a blazer dress when it's on if that makes sense it's definitely not the material of a blazer though it's definitely more of a shirt but basically it's got like a cute little collar got a very nice deep v very like classy looking i really liked this and then it's got two really wide straps of material that's not the word i want that's the word we're getting though so you've got two really wide like panels of material that you tie around your waist do it tight so it cinches you in and oh my god the hourglass that she was giving me was phenomenal again a little bit short on me maybe verging on too short but if you're on a night out and you want it to look a little bit saucy like i wouldn't not wear it and again if you're shorter than i am you would have no problems at all it's just exhausting being as tall as i am honestly shopping is difficult 
And the only other downside that I do have about it is the sleeves were so, so tight. And I find this with a lot of shops. Whoever does the fit guide and the, the scaling and sizing and grading for the patterns of the clothing, whoever does that job in pretty much every clothing company there is, they just don't realise that fat girls have fat arms too, which is mind boggling. It's, it's like they, they just assume that every fat girl has fat on her stomach and literally nowhere else and has like stick thin legs and arms. So confusing. Literally the the sleeves were so so tight. Can someone please fix that? Like industry wide, can someone please just, I don't know, send out a memo that says give us an extra couple of centimetres in the arm because it takes the piss. Truly does. I mean the whole puff sleeve balloon sleeve trend has been a blessing for me because I haven't had to deal with it but this it was a, it was a tight squeeze and then when you know you've got to try and like the, the seam gone to the wrong area so then you've got to try and like yank it around so it's in the right place it was a little bit difficult <sighs> but that's that rant <laughs> it is a very nice dress though and it did I did feel very very good wearing it so I can't complain I just just give us some more sleeve please it's not hard please do that every clothing manufacturer I'm talking to you please just Next up, we've got some giraffe print. Here's a little cord. Here's the top and here's the skirt. You'll see it all on the triangle clip anyway. So the skirt's got a little bit of ruching right down the middle of the front. So you can pull that quite tight and you get a really gorgeous kind of like V silhouette on your stomach, which I just think like makes your waist look phenomenal. Love it. I got this in a 16. She died very quickly that the last dress I got in an 18 and it was still quite tight. So but anyway, this, I got the top and bottom both in a 16. The skirt fit really, really nicely, but the top, I actually think I probably could have sized down in. It was quite loose. And considering I'm like a 34G, I think, I'm like a 34G, I'm quite surprised that it was as roomy as it was because usually I like my boobs spill out of absolutely everything. But I think I actually probably could have sized down to a 14. And that's the first time I've ever been able to say that. I love the cut of it. I love the style. It made me feel like very sexy. 10 out of 10, like I absolutely love it. And I'm quite into animal prints at the minute, but I don't think I own anything that is giraffe print. So this is like a little bit different for me, but still because it's black and white, still in my comfort zone, still not too crazy, but it's just a little bit more funky than your average. Do you know what? I'm really here for it. I'm enjoying it. It made me feel very, very good. <coughs> you done coughing? <coughs> yeah. Get it all out. And then the last little thing I got from the Emily Lucy Ratchet Collection is this. Again, it's black, so it's just so hard to show. Oh my god. It is just absolutely delicious. It is a really slinky material. It has got gathered seams down both sides and down the back as well so it makes your bum look absolutely delicious and then it's got like a kind of cut out section in the middle and then these little bits of cubby boobies and then actually i wore it differently to how the pictures are of emily on the i saw it first website she's got it just where the string goes straight round her neck but because this whole like twisty vibe with a crossover is very like in at the minute and actually because it's got like a long enough strap for it I crossed it over and then kind of did a halter neck and it looked incredible I love absolutely love the way it looks stunning gorgeous out of 10 like I felt a million dollars and actually I wasn't even fake tanned and usually that has a big impact on how I feel about an item of clothing so the fact that being as ghostly as I am currently and I still feel that good in the dress I know that when I'm tanned and I've got my like hair curled and like a proper full face of glam makeup I'm gonna feel unstoppable the only word for it it's it's gonna be over for you bitches keep forgetting to mention sizes but I got this one in 16 as well fits perfectly have nothing bad to say about it and actually I'm quite surprised by how well it holds my boobs and the fact that I've actually got plenty of material to cover my boobs stunning beautiful incredible absolutely amazing everything I've ever wanted and more in a dress I feel like I'm getting very good at flying through these little um hauls without talking too much these days 
I used to spend well over half an hour talking about four bits of clothing. And now that was five outfits and done. Five outfits and done. I'm impressed with myself. Definitely I'm getting better. Literally can't put this smoothie down. It is so tasty. And she is healthy, healthy as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed <laughs> that very, very quick little haul of the I Saw It First X Emily Lucy Red Collection. Beautiful. And that last dress, I absolutely cannot wait to wear it out and feel a million dollars and hope that some rich man is just going to write me into his will. I don't want to date him because I've got a boyfriend. But if I look drop dead gorgeous enough that he just goes, you know what? Just have some money. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? I don't know what I'm saying now. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little haul. And um, I will be back very soon. I don't know. I, do you know. I've actually got quite a few little bits in my notebook ready to do on YouTube. So who knows what you're going to see next. It's a surprise. It'll be a surprise for us all because I don't know. You won't know. But whatever it is, I will see you there. Bye.